I think Goldie's Act matters to everyone because we want to be part of a society that is decent and kind and respectful and values life. These dogs were found with, like I said, illnesses, parvo, distemper, uh, painful matting from the animals not being appropriately groomed. Dogs were found in cages that were too small. The food uh, was, was even moldy. And action was only taken after immense public and private pressure. And that's when the Department of Justice, in fact, intervened and took Daniel Gingrich to court to seek an injunction to stop him uh, from abusing these animals. And it was in that proceeding where Gingrich agreed to surrender about 500 uh, of his animals. to remove these 500 animals, uh, to transport them to different shelters, to care for them, uh, to give them the behavioral care, the medical care, the enrichment that they needed. We believe there are about 2,000 USDA licensed large-scale commercial breeders or puppy mills across the U.S. And at any given time, there can be 250,000 or more animals living in these facilities. Goldie's Act is a very simple piece of legislation which would compel the agency to take animal welfare violations seriously and help animals that are visibly suffering like Goldie she was living in very inhumane conditions. She was abused, she was neglected, she was starving. And unfortunately, you know, there are too many puppy mills that operate in the same manner. And what Goldie's Law really aims to do in her memory is to uh, make sure that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is doing its job and that they are enforcing the laws of animal welfare and uh, that these dogs are being kept in humane conditions. So it really requ basically requires the USDA to report on the inhumane conditions and then take action to rescue these animals. In some cases, it would be requiring fines on these puppy mills. Uh, in some cases, it would be uh, withdrawing the animals from these inhumane conditions. Uh, and so it could possibly mean stripping the license, but it requires that these inspectors do their regular inspections, but they also report what needs to be reported. First of all, people can help by contacting their member of Congress and urging them to sponsor this legislation. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, people should be posting on social media about this important bill and urging other people to contact their members of Congress. Uh, but, but I think one thing that's really important to support these animals is if you know of a condition where an animal is being abused or neglected, you have an obligation to report it to law enforcement. I think a very important thing for people to do is to, again, adopt and don't shop for your pet. Fostering an animal from your local shelter is one of the most powerful ways you can help because you're getting that animal out of the shelter environment, putting him or her into a home environment, which is where they're gonna thrive and heal the most quickly, and you're allowing that shelter to reserve its limited resources for the animals that truly need to be under its roof in its care.